you may have seen this video that we shared on Instagram earlier this year. It shows a kind of 3D printed fabric chainmail. It's fun to hold it and it's beautiful to watch it move. So we got a lot of questions about how we made this chainmail and what it means for 3D printing. This chainmail is an example of what we call a functional assembly, which is an important idea in 3D printing. With conventional manufacturing processes like stamping, injection molding, and machining, you're really constrained in the geometries that you're able to produce. 3D printing gives you a lot more geometric flexibility, including sometimes the ability to produce multiple parts that are already joined at the point of fabrication and that work as assemblies right off the 3D printer with no further assembly required. For a simplified example, let's take a look at a hinge. This is a traditional hinge like you might find on a lot of residential doors. It's made of two sides that fit together and a pin that's dropped into them to hold them together. This hinge is fabricated as three separate pieces and then assembled afterward. Now let's take a look at a hinge that you could make on a 3D printer where you're not subject to the constraints of molding, machining, and stamping. Here you have two sides of the hinge and rather than being made separately and then joined with a pin, you can print them on a 3D printer as two parts that are already joined with two sides that fit together, one side already completely wrapping around the pin on the other side. This is related to the idea of part consolidation. Without the constraints of traditional manufacturing processes, 3D printing sometimes lets you fabricate as one part a product that used to need to be made in several parts and then assembled. As an example, this is a nozzle offered by Vitamix that's used to clean the inside of commercial blenders. It was redesigned by a company called TTH and manufactured on Carbon's 3D printing platform. When it was conventionally made with injection molding, it had six different parts that needed to be molded separately and then assembled together. But when it was redesigned to be 3D printed instead of injection molded, the designers could combine all of those parts together. They cut labor costs by 55% and they cut material usage by 30% and got a better performing part in the process. Let's go back to this 3D printed chainmail. This is an example of a functional assembly. It's printed as kind of a single sheet on the build platform of a Carbon M2 3D printer. And the design is built around a single link. This link has four different loops that can go around their counterpart loops on adjacent links. So this single link design can be patterned outward to cover the entire build platform of the 3D printer. The chain mail is sent to the 3D printer like this and the printer's preparation software slices it apart into a sequence of layers that are cured one by one. This video shows the progression of those layers from the build platform to the top of the chain mail. We printed this chain mail in two different materials. UMA90, which is a methacrylate material that's ideal for rapid prototyping because it prints fast and it cures fast, as well as EPU41, which is an elastomeric material the same material that's used in the midsoles of Adidas Futurecraft 4D shoes. If you're designing your own functional assemblies for production on Carbon's DLS 3D printing platform, here's the guidance you'll want to look at. You just need to make sure that there's an adequate clearance between any parts that you want to move freely when they come off the printer. This clearance varies from 0.4 millimeters for our RPU 70 and EPX 82 materials to 0.8 millimeters for CE221. Most of the materials require about half a millimeter of clearance in order to move freely after you take them off the printer. If you wanna download the design files for this chain mail, you can find a link in the description for this video. Carbon's digital light synthesis 3D printing technology is ideal for functional assemblies like this. It offers excellent surface finish and detail which is good for making intricate parts that you might want to fabricate for functional assemblies. It also offers isotropic parts that perform well under loads in any direction. And DLS offers dual cure materials, which are high performance polymers that have excellent mechanical properties 
and are suitable for a wide range of prototyping and production applications. To learn more about Carbon, visit Carbon3D.com. And to watch more of these videos with quick answers about 3D printing, subscribe to Ask an Additive Expert on YouTube. Mm -hmm.